Cowbunga dudes, and welcome to Is It Worth It? Brought to you by the Hashtag Show. I am Greg, also known as Star Wars Nerd 574 and today we're going to take a deep dive in the new NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle uh, Stern Pinball Box. That is a Walmart exclusive. Now, if you're not familiar with the Stern Pinball Machine, you need to go check that out. It's an amazing pinball machine, and if you got the cash to throw at it, I would recommend getting one. Um, maybe one day I'll get to throw it in the, the home office here, but uh, until then, I can only wish. Um, but enough of that. Let's go ahead and uh, check out this box from, from Walmart. Again, now this is only exclusive at uh, Walmart. Now this box here um, comes in different sizes. Uh, the only size I found was an extra large. So actually, you know, it's hard to tell what sizes are out there. Um, but hopefully, you know, for some of the, the bigger guys like me, there are some bigger boxes uh, for us. But as you can tell, this box actually looks pretty amazing in the display here. Um, we'll kind of set it over here for you guys. Um, does come with five items. Uh, the artwork is, is amazing. Just like the uh, pinball machines itself. Um, obviously I'm covering my, my face here, but that's all right. Cause you'd rather see the artwork on the box anyways. Um, again, and then the back of the box shows you what comes in there. Um, so we're going to crack this box open uh, and see what we got and let's see if it's worth it or not. Um, so this box retails for $49.99. Uh, it is a Walmart exclusive from NECA. Um, so let's uh, let's crack this open and see what we have. All right. So, you know, obviously there are a couple small items in here. Kind of familiar if you're familiar with the Funko Bounty Boxes. Um, so you get a couple of the lesser items, um, but they're all still kind of fun. Uh, the first thing I see right here on top is the uh, pizza magnet. Now, these magnets do come off. The slices do come off, so you can put these wherever you want. And, I mean, seriously, I mean, you can never go wrong with pizza, right? Um, except for this one does have pickles and it looks like jelly beans on it. Uh, so that's a little bit different of a pizza. I don't know if I would go that route, but it probably is better than pineapple on pizza. So, uh, who knows? So that's a cool little magnet that comes with there as well. Also, another small little item is, uh, the Bebop and Rocksteady keychain. Um, let's take that out of the bag so you can actually take a better look at it here. So not too bad of a little gift for the, uh, for the villainous duo there. Uh, again, Bebop and Rocksteady, ready to uh, accessorize your keys. Uh, so those are two of the smaller accessories. Um, again, like I said, there are five items in this box. Uh, so the next item here, again, it's gonna be a little bit small on me, so I'm not gonna try it on. Uh, but uh, for, you, for any of you guys that you know can wear an extra large, uh, not too bad, but uh, again, so this shirt here actually has a few uh, villains on it. Um, you got, you know, Shredder, Bebop, Rocksteady. Uh, so not too bad there. Again, let me get you. So overall, so far, not a bad box. If you know, if you like to wear the shirts um, and display them and stuff. So now, obviously, you know, the brains behind the operation is Krang. Um, pretty cool character, obviously, you know, walking around in his body. Uh, but... This one's a little different here, so I'm going to have to try this one on and then see how it looks here in style, but let me uh, see what we got here. Oh, yeah. So, don't know how great it looks, but uh, <laughs> not too bad, uh, especially if you uh, live in the Midwest here in the wintertime, uh, but definitely a, a cool little piece to come in the box, nice little display piece um, in your collection, or you could go out and wear it. Um, be fun at some conventions and stuff like that. So, uh, not, not too shabby, uh, nice, uh, addition to this box here. So the key item in this box is obviously the figure that comes with it. Um, now neck is very, uh, famous for making exclusive figures, especially with like, you know, Walmart target and stuff like that. Um, so to celebrate the, uh, the Stern pinball machine, they came up with the shredder, uh, which is, actually a pretty decent figure uh, as you look it's about a six inch figure sorry about the little glare there um overall the artwork on the box looks great so there you go so overall not a bad box now i'm not sure if the $50 price point was worth it, um, but I had to pick it up and, and check it out. Definitely the figure alone is, is definitely a good $20 to $25 figure. So that made it 
you know, partly worth it for me just to get the figure in the box, but it depends on how much you'd actually use the other stuff that this box is worth it for you. Um, so for a diehard collector that loves to put all this stuff in, in your collection, you know, and enjoys wearing the shirts or even displaying the shirts, yes, this box would be worth it. But if you are just a figure collector, collecting, uh, figure collect, uh, excuse me, figure collector, um, then you want to, you might want to stay clear from this box. Try to maybe pick up this figure on a secondary market, depending on what it's trending for um, and everything there. So for the most basic collector or somebody out there, um, yeah, the box definitely isn't probably worth the $50 value. But for somebody who, again, who loves to display all this stuff and who wants to wear this amazing hat, um, yes, I would say it's worth it. So, But my overall uh, for this, for the most basic collector, the $50 price point is kind of high for me. Um, so on this one, I'm going to say it's not worth it, uh, but who knows what the next, uh, adventure will bring. So again, um, thank you for tuning in, uh, to, is it worth it? Um, next week, uh, hopefully I will find another good surprise out on, in the wild and, uh, we can review it and look at it together then. So until then, thank you very much and have a great afternoon.